Welcome Grant Boyd. So how about that airline food? <laughs> right. If you're not aware, you're currently sitting in the aviation capital of the world. Now this isn't just some self-proclaimed title that we gave ourselves to sound cooler and more important. It speaks to our identity, past, present, and future. Only a few short years after um, Orville and Wilbur Wright first parted tires with the Earth in 1903, the Wichita aviation industry took flight. Such men as um, Clyde Cessna, Walter Beach, Lloyd Stearman were pioneers, and their names are still heard today, and their planes are still seen in the sky. Now, I just want to let you know that this is really a topic that you'd filibuster Congress with. There's hundreds and hundreds of hours I could talk about the Wichita aviation history. So I'm just going to give you the real quick, quick. Um, so the next thing I'd like to talk about is what really concreted our identity as the air capital of the world. And that was World War II. Obviously, sometimes out of terrible things such as war, great things happen. And one of those great things that happened were the almost 25,000 aviation employees that were stationed in Wichita. And these people built such planes that you may have heard of recently, the B-29 bomber, which one of them was recently restored back to its glory almost 70 years later off of the same factory line that it was originally brought off of. Airplanes such as that really, con or really bridged the gap between the past and the present. Now the present of Wichita Aviation is none less exciting than it was in the heydays. We have many dozens of multinational companies such as Textron, Bombardier, Learjet, Nayar, Airbus, and many others. But there's also hundreds and hundreds of smaller companies that you may not have heard of, such that do marketing, sales, interiors, finance, law, that really speak to how much of a um, fascination with the aviation industry and dedication we have to keep it strong and alive here in town. Now, I've said a lot about the history, or I didn't say that much, unfortunately. I said a little bit about the history and a little bit about the companies here, but I'll really let the numbers speak to you. So there's three different statistics I'd like to say about the Wichita aviation industry that I think you'll find as fascinating as I do. The Wichita aviation industry has a almost $7.1 billion impact on the American GDP per year. Let that sink in. The second thing I'd like to say is that Wichita has built and delivered over 50% of the world's general aviation aircraft, whether it be trainers, business jets, which I hope we're all able to afford one day. <laughs> the third thing I'd like to talk about is that for every job that is created in aviation in town, there are 3.96 that are created either here in town and other sectors, other states, or even around the globe. So that shows just how much one simple job, whether it be a mechanic, a businessman, an engineer, in the aviation industry has an impact both on our local, um, state, national, and global economies. The next thing I'd like to speak about is the future of Wichita Aviation. I feel like I'm kind of in the position of Clyde Cessna, where I don't know what the next 100 years are going to hold. Something crazy, I'm sure he could not have predicted that there'd be jets now going almost 780 miles an hour, just passenger jets. So the three things that I think Wichita needs to focus on in the future, and that will ensure our position both as the aviation capital and to help garner our position as the aerospace capital, which recently the Wichita Eagle wrote an article about this, which is really informative. And I can't, unfortunately, I can't talk a lot about it. But the three things that we need to focus on in order to secure our position and going towards the future are drone technology, an almost already $20 billion per year industry, commercial aviation, so airline food, <laughs> and then the third thing, space travel. So that's what's coming up. That's, that's big stuff. We have the human capital here. We have the talent. We have the infrastructure. We just need to show other companies from other towns what we have to offer here. And that's really, it's a big challenge, but it shouldn't be. As I said, all the different things here. And one of the most really things that bring people here is NIAR and Wichita State. The talent, the training, and all the different things that are in town will help to keep us as a leader and help keep other, co other towns looking up to us and trying to emulate what we are doing. Thank you.